Hello Pisces, welcome to a bonus love reading for July. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love, what's going on for you in love, and where it's all headed. Before I jump into the reading, I'm announcing that I'm doing another giveaway. This time it's of my book, Love Tarot Made Easy. Um, my book is basically a reference guide for interpreting the tarot for love. There will be three winners, and basically my book is just an overview of every single tarot card. Um, I interpret it for love, upright and, and reverse. And I also have spreads in here, tarot reading 101, some questions, resources, basically anything that a beginner would wanna know about doing love readings. So if you're interested in entering that giveaway, all of the details will be in the description box. If you wanna just purchase this um, copy for yourself, it's on Amazon with Prime Shipping and I'll have that linked down below as well. So let's jump right into the reading, Pisces. Spirits and Angels Guides for Pisces. Pisces, as always, this is a general love reading, so please take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. If this doesn't resonate, do not try to make it fit. Just check out your playlist. I have a playlist all for Pisces, and there might be a reading there that resonates for you. Spirits and Angels Guides, what's going on for Pisces? in love for July 2021. Who or what is coming towards Pisces? What does Pisces need to know when it comes to love for July 2021? Okay, we have secret admirer, intrigue, watchful attraction. You've caught someone's eye. What else for Pisces? I'm getting someone looking at your social media here. Yeah, Instagram stories specifically. <laughs> that was so specific. Moving forward. Movement, endings, cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Interesting. This could be somebody that you already moved away from. This could be somebody that lives at a distance from you. This could be some somebody that um, this ended long ago as well. Let's see what else. What else for Pisces? By the way, these are my um, my decks, my Oracle decks. This is Stellar Energy and this is the Stellar Rainbow deck. All of my decks are linked down below. Spirit, tell me more for Pisces. Ooh, what's coming to Okay, we have Sensitive, Responsive, and Perceptive. Responsive and Perceptive. I feel like someone, whatever they're watching you do, and of course you can flip this um, energy if it resonates more for you. Because I could be picking up your energy or their energy. But whoever's watching the other person, it's affecting you what you're seeing. Maybe you're thinking about it a lot. Maybe, I don't know, it's almost like um, like you can't help yourself here. Can't help but, do, but check up on, on this person. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe they're seeing you move on, be happy here or vice versa. Maybe you're making certain moves here and someone's taking notice. We'll see because I'm going to clarify each of these energies separately here with the tarot. Spirit and just guides, tell me more for Pisces, please. What do we need to know about each of these energies? Tell me about this secret admirer energy. Tell me about this secret admirer energy for Pisces. We have the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about this secret admirer energy. Four of Cups. King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's almost like you're doing well, but this person isn't really happy about that. <laughs> this could be somebody watching you at work as well, or watching you at school, or watching you work on something I feel like you're doing well for yourself, Pisces, or there's some sort of leveling up that you've done where you're sitting very pretty. Some of you could be business owners. Why the Four of Cups? Knight of Pentacles.
Ten of Cups. Wow. Yeah, I feel like someone's really doing well. This could be um, an offer that someone wants to make to you as well. I'm seeing like someone being offered a very stable offer. It could even be like a proposal. Um, almost like let's be a family. Let's be happy. Let's move in together. Let's do this thing. But then the other person maybe is not as interested or is not as open to this, you know? Maybe this happened in the past. Maybe you rejected someone or it just wasn't the right time for you. Um, maybe you're just not interested now that time has passed. But I'm getting like someone's not really there, like not really uh, present. And, and then for others of you, I'm getting that someone's very like uh, jealous of your success or watching you do so well. And it's almost like they wish that they could be a part of this. Tell me about this sensitive energy. Tell me about this sensitive energy. Their intuition could be speaking to them. Yeah, Knight of Swords. This could be some sort of truth that someone is almost like really sensitive to. So it's almost like it's 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 it's, it's a, around them all the time. This truth. Um, this could be a hard tr pill to swallow. The star, Aquarius energy, hope, faith, renewal, healing. Death, Scorpio energy. I feel like there's been an ending here with this person. Something ended here. If it wasn't with a person specifically, maybe you ended a job and moved away from this person, you know, something like that, where the fact that someone's gone or something has ended is made someone like really in their feelings here. And maybe there's a truth that they're, they can't ignore right now. It's a hard, it's a tough pill to swallow, whatever this is. And now they're resorting to watching you, watching you be great. This is a very specific reading, but I feel like the energy is very strong for this reading in particular. Tell me about the death card. Why is death here? The emperor. Yeah, it's like someone. Aries energy. Someone made this happen. Like they made this change. They did this transformation. They took charge of this situation. And I feel like the other person's not happy with that. There's the high priestess, the nine of wands, the empress. Wow, the emperor and the empress are here. This is someone that's like really on top of their game. I feel like this was someone that listened to their intuition, listened to their heart, listened to their gut, and then made a decision. And I feel like this could be you, um, Pisces, but it could also be your person. And if this is not specifically related to you, then this is someone that's ending something in their life, but it's regarding you anyway in some way. You know, they're being very sensitive to what they're, what they're feeling, what they're realizing here. Tell me about this moving forward card. Why is moving forward here? What's this energy about? Page of Wands. Yeah, starting new, taking initiative, going on like a new journey here, something exciting, something new, different, being a bit bold here. Tell me about the moving forward energy. This is someone making a move here. Six of Wands, exactly. And you're doing very well for yourself. I feel like if if if, if this person can see you, you succeed. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you're making some big moves here. And there's the Five of Wands. I feel like someone's jealous of the moves that you're making. 
Like they're jealous that you are able to move on and be successful. Um, or at least it's, it's like, it's like they just can't stand this. Maybe because they're not a part of this. Three of cups. Yeah, it's like they're seeing you partying, be happy, being with friends. Um, like, look at this pic. Look at this card. <laughs> like, they're having such a good time. Same with this six of wands, like partying, living it up. <laughs> and I feel like this person is just kind of like bitter and maybe just upset. Like it's eating them up inside that you're that you're doing so well. Um, what a weird reading here. Let me know if this is resonating down in the comments. Some of you, this could be a friend, um, like a friend of the opposite gender. Maybe they thought they had a chance with you, and were friend zoned, or a coworker perhaps, where you know it wasn't really romantic. But others of you, you had to pass with this person because they are hurt. <laughs> What's next? What's going on next for Pisces? What's going on for Pisces spirit for July? Six of Swords. Yep. Moving on. Making moves. Moving forward. strength leo energy this is someone being brave being bold having courage to make this move yep six of wands what whoever is making this move they're not going to be distracted by all this other energy um i feel like there's no looking back here i feel like this is someone who is unbothered Yep, strength and then the eight of swords. So it's almost like you overcame a fear. Um, you are d being strong enough here to not be stuck, I feel. Well, tower. You might have surprised someone with this decision, with this action. Seven of wands, five of swords, definitely. This caused drama or will. This decision will cause some serious like fallout here for for someone. And maybe you knew, maybe you or the person who's making this move, you knew that that making this decision would cause a tower. And maybe that's what you were so afraid of. But I feel like you're going to do it anyway. Because I see you succeeding here. Some of you could be leaving a job, leaving home, leaving a location, leaving a relationship, a situationship. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, yeah. Page of Cups, interesting. And then the Eight of Wands. Someone can be coming in to apologize when you're ready to end something. I have the Ten of Swords here. This could also be that love comes in. Some sort of message comes in. Because I feel like, you know, maybe it's not just one person that's watching you succeed. I feel like you you have a lot of love, this Queen of Cups energy, your heart, you wear your heart on your sleeve, or maybe you had a lot of, um, you cared a lot about others' feelings here, but I feel like you out, on the outside, you're being a Queen of Swords. Maybe you waited long enough to make this move, and now that it's here, it's like, I've waited long enough for this, I'm just going to do it. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. If this resonated for you, if you enjoyed the reading, please hit the like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me. I'd love to have you. It's a great way of supporting my channel for free. Thank you so much to everyone who comments, subscribes, likes. Um, I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. It's gonna be linked in the description box. And also, if you'd like to book a personal reading from me, all of that information is in the description box as well. All right, Pisces, take care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on another video very soon.